<laughs> if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know that I don't really do review videos, but I couldn't help myself this time. So I've been looking to upgrade my audio interface for several years now, and for some reason just never pulled the trigger. But this time around when I was looking to actually get a new audio interface, Antelope Audio reached out to me saying they have a new audio interface called the Zen Go. And they said, hey, do you want us to send you one? And I was like, <laughs> Well, sure. No, but seriously, super thankful. Antelope Audio actually sent me the Zengo before it even hit the market, and I had an opportunity to spend the last month working with it, testing it out, seeing how I like it. And first of all, this video is not being paid for by Antelope Audio. All they did was sent me the interface. I declined any sort of sponsorship so I could make sure I give you an honest review. So what I hope you can gain out of this video is clarity. Should you buy this or maybe shouldn't you buy this? Spoiler alert, I'm keeping it. Let me just start by saying I'm not really a tech geek, so I'm not gonna be going into all the crazy features like how the converters were made and stuff like that because honestly for me an audio interface is a tool that helps me make music and that's kind of it and let me say it sounds incredible like it sounds fantastic and that to me is the most important thing but with that said let's actually jump into some of its features and then at the end of this video I'm gonna let you actually hear what it sounds like first things first it is very well built it's very well constructed it is not made out of plastic it's a very heavy nice solid built interface I like the design it's sleek it's just really sharp looking it doesn't have all the knobs and stuff like that. It's very clean, very simple, which I dig. So in the back of the interface, you have your two inputs, which you can have either an instrument or a microphone going to. And of course you have phantom power on both, which you can control from the software itself. One of the really cool things about the Zen Go is they basically took all the features from the Zen Tour, which is a $2,000 interface, and they condensed it into a smaller interface with a smaller IO, but basically packing the same type of a punch that the Zen Tour would in terms of sound quality and in terms of power. Like the Zen Tour, it has their Synergy Core software, which if you've looked online and you've looked at reviews, you may have seen a lot of people complaining. For me personally, over the last month, I've had some issues, but it's been very, very basic stuff and most of it has been uh, user errors. You're going to be given over 35 different plugins to choose from that you can actually run off of the interface itself, so your computer is not actually processing those, but you can process them on the way into your DAW. So they have their own Zen Go software where you can basically pick and choose which of these plugins you want to use and they have a ton of different amps as well which sound absolutely fantastic i was completely blown away so looking at the interface itself you've got this big knob which controls the actual input volume you can also control the volume from the software from your computer as well which is actually really handy and you can also switch to controlling your outputs you have two headphone jacks in the front which i absolutely love so you can actually have two separate headphones controlled individually so if you want to have one volume level for one and a different volume level for another one say for example I'm listening and I want it lower than the musician I'm working with they want a little bit higher I can have two independently controlled volume levels for the headphones which is super nice the buttons on the interface itself the very top of the three buttons on the left of the knob that controls the actual input so if you click that it's going to toggle between the two different inputs that you have selected the middle knob is going to then control the monitors you can control your monitors or your two headphones the other cool thing is if you want to mute your monitors or any of your headphones you just push the knob down, directly down, and it will just mute whatever you have selected. I actually find this way better than having just to crank the knob all the way back to be like, I don't want any of this, just turn it down. And of course, it's a two IO interface, but it does have expandability if you wanna go that route and have more options on the way in. I personally am never gonna have need for that, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. And of course, since it is a smaller interface, it's perfect for mobile working. If you wanna be out on the road, if you're traveling and you wanna bring your interface with you, for example, in less than two weeks, I'm taking a trip to Nashville. I'm actually bringing this interface with me. It's literally gonna fit in my backpack. So what's really fantastic is I can bring the quality of a thousand dollar plus interface interface with me in my backpack and it's not a thousand dollars. The fact that this is also a $500 interface is pretty remarkable. They're really actually breaking into the home studio market with this interface. Now with the price point being at $500, it's actually pretty shocking that they are selling it for only $500. That's really the cost of just a mid tier audio interface, yet they're bringing the quality of a high tier, high end interface. And is it just me or does it kind of feel like they're trying to kind of go head to head with the Apollo twin? maybe. Now, if you have looked online for reviews on Antelope interfaces already and before, you've probably seen a lot of negative comments in regards to the software. Now, I've not used any of their other software, but I did watch other videos of people using the other software, and honestly, the interface itself for the software doesn't look like a lot of the other stuff I've seen in other videos where people are complaining. It seems a lot easier to use than maybe some of their other audio interfaces, perhaps. All of my issues that I had with the software were, for the most part, user errors that were pretty easy to fix. Now, I have two complaints with the 
software itself, which in the end are really not even complaints. They're just preferences that I would hope that Antelope Audio would fix down the road. But even if they don't, the fact that this is a $500 interface, like these are problems you would never be dealing with with any $500 interface because they wouldn't even have the options for this. But within the software, I would really love it if they could take their Aura Verb Reverb, which you can use for monitoring, but you cannot use within your DAW. It is a fan freaking tastic sounding reverb. And I really, really feel like what's happening is they're dangling this really amazing reverb in front of me and then I can't even use it. In my mind, I almost wish they didn't have it at all because then at least I don't know how good it is, which I feel really weird saying, but it's true. So I did actually bring that up. I said, hey, you guys should really think about taking that Aura Verb and making it usable. They did say they have other reverbs that they're working on that you'll be able to use within your DAW. That brings me to my second point. With the software, you can use the plugins within the software itself. So you're basically recording the audio with those plugins. So if you have compression and EQ or you know a preamp simulator on there, it is going to basically print all of that down into your DAW, but for you to be able to control that in your DAW and actually work with those effects in your DAW and not actually printing those effects in, it looks like you kind of have to do some workarounds or you might even have to purchase additional software to do it. But again, for a $500 interface, this is not something really any other $500 interface is even going to have. So it's really more of a preference that I wish they would have taken the extra mile to get that done. And I will say I've been super impressed at how transparent Antelope Audio has been. They have acknowledged some of the problems that they've had with their software and they are saying point blank, this is our priority to fix this. They are wanting to take care of it. So I do have confidence that as time goes on, it will improve. So without jabbering anymore, I'm gonna let you hear how this thing sounds. Obviously this is very difficult because I'm using a specific microphone, I'm in a specific room, I have you know all of these things specific to what I'm doing that is going to sound different than if you were using the interface, but it would not be a very good review if I didn't at least show you some examples. So I'm gonna show you acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and some vocals. Let's do it. The 
walls come down on us Even when the world turns into dust You're the only one I want You're the only one, the only So hey, if you like this video, then make sure you subscribe. I've got so much valuable content on this channel for those of you guys who make music at home. And with that said, we'll see you in the next one.